Welcome to the Evening Review. My name is Ohane Klache, and joining us in studio is this grand old micro lender, Frank Osagai, who has a bone to pick with the Micro Lenders Association of Namibia. Welcome to the Evening Review. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, in a recent interview published um, in the Namibian Sun, um, you had alleged that um, black micro lenders are being discriminated against by the Micro Lenders um, Association of Namibia. Uh, could you just, uh, for uh, just let us in into why you think or you feel that um, black micro lenders are being um, discriminated against? Okay, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, when you when you say discrimination, uh, you you why you don't have an instant sense of discrimination, you can have a pattern of discrimination. Hmm. The pattern being, 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 being that, uh, I think the Micro Lenders Association was founded in 1998. It was majorly for the white people. Over time, you, the, 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 the black people start to uh, uh, go into the industry. We, we, became, we became part of it. But mind you, before we start to, this, we, we went into the industry, the black, the white people has been there, you understand? So they feel entitled. They have been leading it, they've been, uh, uh, the, the trend has been around them. So o over the years, they created an, a constitution that they created for themselves in, in, in a pattern like, they have what it takes, they, they have what it takes to stand for re-election. The constitution stipulates that they can continue to stand for re-elections. When they stand for re-elections, they win these re-elections, the black people are nowhere to be seen at the hands of a fair. We are just there looking at them. Where I noticed that um, the, 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 the current chairman of the uh, association has been there for so many years. That is my question. I said, look. Why can't, why will you be in an association, a public association, where everybody is inclusive, but you stayed there for so many years. You've been there as a chairman for so many years. All of you, from the administrator to the other executives, they are all white people. So we as black people, we can't help but feel that we are discriminated. Though you don't say it verbally, that you don't want us there, but when we start seeing you as uh, uh, the white people, we go to the meeting, you say, okay, we are uh, uh, electing the new leaders. We go there, the new leaders are actually the same people from last year, last three years, uh, uh, the, the, the prior year, the same people on a yearly basis. Mm. This is one of the issues we are having in the organization. We say, no, this we can't take this anymore. There should be a pattern of changes where everybody is included. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be, be in the place when I, when I get there, I don't see somebody that looks like me. The first year, the second year, the third year, I keep seeing somebody that's different from me. You make me feel like I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not welcome. I'm segregated. Though you say that we are all inclusive, but that is not the point. Mm. What I see by actions tells me that the black people are not wanted. But then, uh, if one now has to look at uh, executive committee or, or, or the board of, of, of the association, um, <clears throat> Shouldn't, 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 shouldn't its, sh shouldn't its composition be all based on, 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 on the skills that people bring to the, to the, to the, to the table rather than the skin color? Because um, it's a tangible, it's a, it's a non-tangible. I mean, how, what, what effect does it have? You, you know, how, 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 how does, how, 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 how does this really go against them? How does this really affect the black micro lender who's trying to, 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 um, to, to, to grow in the industry? Yeah, when you when you when you say skills, it depends on your definitions of skills. Is it educational skills? Mm. Uh, if, if that is what you refer to, are you saying educational skills? Not the technical skills, um, or administrative skills. Or the administrative skills. If yes. you say administrative administrative skills, uh, I, I think that uh, you, you must understand that we have so many talented people. Before we started our own in, uh, micro lending. Administrative skill is part is part of the macro uh, as a business. Mm. If you don't have an administrative skills, you cannot do a macro lending. You cannot be a micro lender. So if you don't, if you can, if you can, if if, if that is absent from you, forget it. You don't have. You, you cannot. You cannot handle it. I think if we are saying administrative skills, we have so many of our people. I just want to quickly say, this is not all about being black or being white, because some people will say, uh, Frank you are being racist. You know, this is not about racism. It's, it's all about a level playing field. 
where everybody can feel belong. Mm. I, 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 make an, I make an example of one of the letters I sent to the micro lending industry. I make an example of our, of our president. Uh, I say, if our president being a Demera by tribe, if you look at the members of his, his, his cabinet, it is all inclusive. You see the, the Vambos, you see the Demeras, you see the, the white people. They are there in, 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 they are in, in there. But if the president starts start to elect people of his tribe in all the administrative positions and the, 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 the other tribes start to say, no, my tribe is not there, they will feel being biased too. That is, the, that is the normal mindset of every human being. So it is not, it's not really based on skill. We have skillful people who are out there. We are saying that we want a level playing field, of course by merit. We, if, you, if you don't have administrative skills, you can, you can lead people. But have you tried it? You haven't tried it. You haven't given people a chance to like, what, what can you be done? What, what, can, what can you do? What, what, what skill do you have? Mm -hmm. You understand? You can tell me that <clears throat> it, these certain people over the years, for more than three, four, five years, six years, if not more, they are the only skillful people that have what it takes to lead this association. Mm -hmm. That is the bias. That is the, that is the, that is the, the the pattern it has been. That is what we are willing to. We want to fight it. We want to end it. Mm. And then, um, have you? Um, uh, uh, what are some of the efforts that um, you've engaged in um, uh, to to try and um, shake um, the association of its, um, if I may put it um, like this, um, its 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 white tag at that at 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 that, at that level. Uh, okay. Uh, b before I get there. Um, when I start to see a, a, a trend in, in, in our association, I see, I, start, I see this trend. I wrote them a letter. I told them, on, on my, I said to them on my, on my letter, I made a proposal. I said, can the leadership of the MLA be structured in an all-inclusive ethnicity? What I mean by that is we can have Currently, they have uh, five executives, currently. I said, okay, can we make it on a level playing field? Three black people as an administrator, three white people as an administrator. Mm. That, gives me, that gives me confidence that I am not just in an association where I am being left behind. That tells me that when I come there, I see somebody that looks like me, it tells me, what? Okay, this person, I, somebody that looks like me is, is there. I don't, I don't feel like I'm, I'm, I'm left at. I have written them on a several occasions. I have told them, a letter has been written, I have said it, but they have kept moot. They don't want to talk about that. I, I'll say this. When we became part of this uh, 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 organization, we joined because <coughs> NAMFISA, it is one of the mandatory requirements for NAMFISA for the micro lender, if you are a micro lender, you must belong to an association. It is one of the mandatory requirements. So the association that we knew at that time, and we still know at this time, is the MLA. Mm. We, we became part of it. We joined it. Because we believe that our regulator, NANFISA, if they are the one that approved this organization, who are we to doubt it? Because we believe NANFISA as, as a regulator, they trust this as, uh, association. So we, we, we join it. But over time, when I start saying that things are not going the way it should be, I, being, I, 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 we now start to see some things that is not being properly done. We question, why is this thing done this way? They now refer us to the Constitution. I spent some time, days, reading this Constitution. Mm. Because one of the, one of the questions I had for this uh, uh, executive, I said, why is it that the same people on a yearly basis keep standing for re-election, they keep winning the re-election? I was wondering, and, and a public organization where, so to say, the micro-lending industry, micro-lender are supposed to be. We are all black, white people, Damanas, Vambos, colored, from different spectrums of life. So I said, look, this is not done. They refer me to the Constitution. The letter that was sent to me by the chairman, he, 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 he made reference on several occasions asking me, referring me to the Constitution. We have never read the Constitution. I have never read it. Most people have not read the Constitution. We trust this organization that they stand, they stand, for, they stand for us. So I said, okay, let me spend some time to go read this Constitution. 
I find that some things that doesn't make sense. You cannot write an constitution that leverage you in the hands of a fair on a yearly basis. You, you should, you should, there should be a time you say to yourself as a chairman or any executive and say, look, this is time. I have been here for some time, two, three years. Let me stay down for somebody else to come in. Mm. When people come in, they bring in their idea. When people come in, they bring them their, their knowledge. Because when we keep living in the same regime, things doesn't change. But you decide to tell yourself that the executive can stand for re-election. How long will you continue to stand for re-election? If you're telling us that the executive can stand for re-election, maybe for two terms, we understand. That is understandable by everyone. We know, okay, the first time you stay for two years, the next time you, you stand for re-election for another two years, we know you are going. But when you keep standing for re-election on a yearly basis, you keep winning re-election with, with the way it, 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 it is structured, that has become questionable. Mm. Why? <clears throat> Our question is this. Why are you there as a chairman or your, your, your crew? Why are you guys there on a yearly basis? What are you guys benefiting from there? That you don't want we other macro lenders to get to know or benefit. So it to, it, it's more of a bias, it's more bias to us who are looking and seeing that these same people, they are there on a yearly basis. Does it make sense to us? Um, <clears throat> this um, uh, this exco committee or board, um, what, what, what powers do they have? <clears throat> what, what privileges do they have? And <clears throat> just to give perspective of, of the power that they may potentially yield. Okay. Um, uh, you see, the constitution stipulates that they can expel, they can dismiss you from the association. I think that was created for their leverage. If in the future, they have anyone who will challenge them. Mm. They can be able to say, look, you are no more part of us. That is exactly what they have done, for me, done, done to me. Because when I read, okay, the letter they sent me a few, few, few days ago, a few weeks ago, the reason why they are expelling me, expelling, dismissing me from the association is because, one, is I, I wrote then, after I have read the Constitution, I said there is no normal organization that will craft a constitution, a general constitution this way. That this constitution, this constitution leverage a certain individual, a certain people to continue to be in the hands of affairs. Because um, over the years, I didn't read it. We didn't read it. I don't think most people didn't read it because we're just there on the trust of Nanfisa. Mm. So after we have read it, we say, no, this is not, this is not right. I send an I send an email telling them because they say that I was one of the people that adopted the constitution. That's okay. If you are saying I don't know how I adopted it, I don't know when it was adopted, but that is what they said. You understand? We have had several meetings. Uh, so many things have been said in the meeting, so I don't know how it was adopted. So it, when if they are saying that our company was one of the company that adopted this constitution, I say okay, it's fine. This is not the constitution I want to belong. This is not the constitution I want to adopt. I send an email and say, no, I withdrew my signatory from the constitution. That is what I did. So when this issue starts coming up and we start making some, trying to see, get more trans transparency in the organization, they wrote me a letter last week, I think I suppose, last week, and say that because I repudiate, that I'm going to use their word on the word, they wrote on the, on, the, on the letter. They say that I repudiate, and I continue to repudiate the Constitution. Because of that, I have lost my membership to the Constitution. Mm. And then I ask them, are you saying that if I belong to a certain fraternity, let me use the word fraternity, if I belong to a certain fraternity that I entered into it because of certain levels of trust, and now I discover that in that fraternity, what I see is not what I expect to see. It doesn't matter how many years. It doesn't matter how long I've been there. You understand? And suddenly I saw, wow, this is not what I want to be. It's my right. You don't force, you don't force your constitution on me. That is why we are human. It's my constitutional right to tell you this is what I want. This is what I don't want. So that is, that is, that is the issue we are having on ground now. Um, <clears throat> we'll, we'll dig into more issues related to the Micro Lenders Association of Namibia. Yeah. But before we do, quickly like to go for a short commercial break. Mm. Do stay tuned.
Welcome back to the Namibian, uh, to the evening review. I beg your, I be I'm sorry. Um, you have in the past alleged that um, the MLA is not open to how it uses membership fees paid over to it on an annual basis. Uh, my question is, is the MLA um, com uh, compelled to state how, uh, how it uses membership fees? Um, and, <coughs> and, and have they in the past uh, indicated how our membership fees have been spent? Uh, yes, yeah, uh, um, on an annual basis. I think we normally have our AGM annual general meeting on um, <coughs> uh, in, in uh, November of every year. Mm. We have that. It's there on the slide how the money was spent, how things was being done. Uh, they, they, they do that, you understand? For me, I, I see some bogus expenses. Something something's loose, loose so bogus and quest questionable. Um, they, 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 they Constitution, the Article 11, 8 of the Constitution. Mm. This is one of the things I question the MLA for. Uh, it, it stipulates that, okay, first of all, the executive that has been leading the MLA for so many years, they get paid remuneration. Mm. They, they get paid salaries. Uh, unfortunately, because I was not uh, accustomed to the Constitution, uh, only when I started reading it, they said, no, they are entitled <coughs> to be paid a salary. And uh, the Constitution says that um, uh, anybody employs in the Micro Lending Association uh, have right to gratuity, have right to pension. Mm. I started to look at that like, this is an organization, it's not a company. A company where you start to have right to the salary I will understand, but when you, I mean, an organization where you start to have right to gratuities and, and pension, to me it starts to look like it's more of, um, it's more of you trying to save for your future. You're just trying to save for yourself. And that also give me a clue why these individuals have been there for so many years. Because if you are entitled to pension, I believe, um, I want to say this quickly, I, uh, I, it is, I believe when they say if you are employed in the association, I believe that could it be, they can, they can in interpret this the way they want, could it be that the elected officials, the five elected officials executive, could that be an employment? How many people, are, are you part of the, uh, <coughs> the, uh, the employment benefit of the MLA? When you are elected as an executive, does that denote you are employed? Does mm -hmm. it connote employment? So that is something they should explain to the general, the general house. So if, if, it, if, if it denotes that you are employed, that means you get gratuity as an employee of a, a, a MLA, then you get pension as an employee of MLA. So, the articles I was referring to referring earlier, articles 11, number 8 of the Constitution stipulates this, that any, um, the, 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 the executive of the organization, shall, their remuneration shall be determined on time in the general and in the annual general meeting. That is what this constitution says. The uh, remuneration shall be determined on time, on a the, on the, on the yearly basis or whatever the, the phrase is, that it should be determined by the general members of the association. Mm. We have asked them, how much is the remuneration that you have been paid? Because if, if the constitution is saying that the general members of the association determine how much, what is your remuneration package. You have never in the general meeting tell us how much do any one of you get paid. You would never give the members of the association the privilege, the right, by the constitution that you have crafted, that you have, you, you drafted, to say, look, um, the members of the house, this is the elected officials, let's determine how much they are get, getting paid by the constitution you drafted. It has never been there. When we ask you people, what are you, how much are you getting paid? You, you, you say that what you get paid cannot quantify what 
you do? We ask you, what do you do as an executive of the MLA? What we get as micro lenders is on a weekly basis, we get a um, newsletter. They send us some earth. The earth we already know about. Nafisa tells us <coughs> about the earth. You understand? They tell us about the earth. We don't really know what they do. We want to be, belong to an association where we can be able to circulate. This is what we benefit. I asked them, I said, look, we pay 630 on a monthly basis. 630 Namibian dollar on a monthly basis. Roughly how many micro lenders um, would they be? Uh, uh, okay, like my, my well, uh, okay, uh, the other time I had a meeting with Nanfisa, one of the Nanfisa officials says that by what they have on record, the members of the micro lenders that is part of the members, mm. what they have on record is 24 members. Okay, if we are 24 members, this is how it's done. If I, my company as ISO Finance, if I have 10 branches, those branches are registered differently with the association. That means with the 10 branches, every of the, each one of the branches, they pay $630 differently. You understand? So if we, what, how, many member, how many members we are individually, that doesn't count. It's how many branches. True. You yeah. understand? So true, when you true. put all of this together, it makes it the last sum. Mm -hmm. You understand? So we see, like, what do we benefit? We pay $630 on a, on, on, on a monthly basis. What is the benefit of the members? What, what, what do we have here? Why are we paying this? The question, the, the, the answer they give to us is uh, the money is there for legal liabilities. We are fighting the government, uh, 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 the regulations that want to put a strain on our financial activities. Okay? If, if that is the case, you don't pay a, a, a legal fee every day, mm. every month. Lawyers are paid when they do their jobs. You don't fight government on a daily basis. If you are fighting the government, how many times do you guys go to court? So what is this money being done? Mm. I'll tell you this. Um, some funny things I read about the Constitution that the members may not know. The Constitution stipulates that they can enter into contracts. So I asked them, what kind of contract? If this is an association that represents the Micro Lender Association, I see that they, what they did is that they uh, uh, drafted a there, is a, there is a business side of the organization that the members do not know, they are not aware of. Until you read it, but you, you read it in the Constitution. Now, this is it. It says that they can invest, they can do investment. It, say, it stipulates that they can enter into contracts. Mm. It stipulates that they, they, can, they can lease, they can, they can hire, they can purchase, they can buy movable or immovable properties. They can retain if they want to retain. And now ask, ask you themselves. So these business activities of the MLA, who is the beneficiary of this business? Mm. And with, with the members, we, we, we want to find out how many, how do we have properties? that we, don't, we are not aware of? Do we have movable property that we are not aware of? Is there something you guys are doing behind us that we are not aware of? Mm. Because you don't come to us in an unknown un, un, general meeting. We are sitting there in an unknown un, un general meeting. You put, you put this on slide. We are watching some slide. You say, no, this is what happened. This is the articles. This is NAFISA. This is government thing. This is how much we are spent for, for legal costs. Uh, this is um, how much rem remunerations. You give us some bogus figures <coughs> that we don't, we, we don't want that. Mm. We, we don't want that. We want the comprehensive things. Does the organization have movable or immovable properties, mm -hmm. like you stipulate on the Constitution. We want to know, because this is what it is. If we don't know now as members, <coughs> Excuse to, me. as we, we don't know as members, tomorrow the association will be, can be liquid, liquidated and somebody claims that thing for himself. Mm -hmm. We want to know, the members deserve to know, they deserve to know, do we have such property? We keep asking these questions. The president, R R uh, Mr. Ronald Weber, he is, he, uh, he, he's been there for so many years. He is the, 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 the I, 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 I'll, I'll say that he's the kingmaker when it comes to every other one. She, she decide, he, him, him decide. Another thing I find out is that um, the association do not have a treasurer. It stipulates that they, the committee, the management committee, 
they shall play the role of a treasurer. Mm. That becomes questionable. You don't run a public organization. You, as a management committee, you can enter into contracts. You don't run an organization. You, as a <coughs> management committee, you, 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 can, you can decide whatever you choose to decide and the members do is not aware. Whatever you decide becomes the law. People should be able to know what is happening. Mm -hmm. We want transparency. You understand? They have written and says that no, on, on a yearly basis, we have our annual, uh, we have uh, uh, our auditor. But what we are saying is this. Fine, we understand you have your, your auditor. For the sake of transparency, we don't say you are corrupt. We, we are not accusing you that you are corrupt. We don't say that nobody, somebody is corrupt, they are cutting away our money or they are doing some things. What we say is, prove to us that you are not corrupt. Mm. That's what we're saying. Mm. We didn't say you are corrupt. On that note, um, um, we've unfortunately run out of time okay. and I'm sure that um, you, you have more to say. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on the Evening Review. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in. Good night. Good night.